brought to you by AT&T, your world delivered. Lorenz, Lorenz Electronics. And by Falcon Rods and Falcon Tackle Organizers. The crowd's beginning to gather around our way inside as our teams are winding down their day, getting ready to weigh in their best catches Take a look at the leaderboard. Ben Alderman, Ronnie Pitts still cling to the lead with 17 pounds plus, but the rest of the pack are just a fish away from evening the score. You see, the story is this. Alderman and Pitts made a long, long run, which means they have to head back early. Without a doubt, they are done fishing for the day. And here you see their track, their journey through the marsh, all the way back to the dock. It's a long one. Right now, let's hear the baits that gave them confidence on championship day. The baits we use this week to catch the fish, we are up in a pond, you know, a marsh pond flooded with hydrilla. The water wasn't perfectly clear, so it was a good chance to use a lot of baits with vibration. And went to the ribbit weedless frog. It's a bass bait, basically, but it works great for red fishing. Take it and it walks across the water. Right in front of you, right in front of you. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming faster. This morning, first thing we went in there today on the final day, that's what I had Ronnie pitching out on the front of the boat, and he had one blow up right behind it. Missed it. He missed it. Okay. But we knew that the fish in there are primarily eating some little three-inch shrimp, jumping left and right. So we went to the old three-inch New Penny Gulp shrimp. Well, they have had the luxury of coming back early all three days of this tournament. We're getting closer and closer to the time whether we see if it will or will not pay off. But Eric Root and Larry Puckett here still fishing, and that means they've still got a chance to take the title on the jetties. Well, it comes down to one fish, one bite could be all you need. Right here, Larry. There he is, baby. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. This could be the one. He, he's not tearing drag out but he's staying down. That's what those big, wide, heavy ones do a lot of times. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, he'll be good right there. That'll work. I'm pretty sure he's good. He is 26 and three quarters. He is good, baby. We're in the hunt. Nine three. Nine three? Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh gosh, that feels good. That feels good. Oh, kind of doubting herself, man. Got the, got the lucky bite. Got the lucky bite. Got the lucky bite. That's the way this whole tournament's going, bud. We, yes. Even in spite of ourselves, we're going to catch him. Good job. Woo! Excitement in the boat for Rue and Puckett, and now the excitement builds. They take the lead in the hot seat. Only two teams left to weigh in. But up next, the guys who went against the green in this tournament. Will their marsh bite outlast the jetties? How about your day one leaders, Ben Alderman and Ronnie Pitts? All the way from South Carolina, Ben Alderman, Ronnie Pitts needs 1678. Let's see it. Ho oh, ho, bingo, 1752. Ben Alderman and Ronnie Pitts are your new leaders here in Kima, Texas. Well, they come through with 17.52 pounds as they shun the jetty bite all three days and are rewarded in the end. As the crowd looks on, they'll have to outlast one more team. Sonny Granger and Jake Matney will have the last say. Get loud, 17.52 is what they need. Let's see it, 16.20. That means Ronnie Pitts and Ben Alderman are your 2009 Redfish Cup champions here in Kima, Texas. They made a decision at the start of the tournament. The only way they saw to win it was to go against the grain, to do what everyone else wasn't doing. It paid off. For Ben Alderman and Ronnie Pitts, they dominate here in Kima. Now let's take a look at Academy Team of the Year presented by Crocs. With a great showing here, Rue and Puckett have jumped to the top of the points list. But coming up, hey, don't fall asleep on the Broussards as we head to their home waters for our next event. That's right, next time on the Redfish Cup, we land in Chalmette, Louisiana for the Big Easy Invitational as these teams take on the mecca of red fishing. We'll see you then. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Learn how to catch redfish in the marsh 
by logging on to ESPNOutdoors.com. Ronnie Pitts and Ben Alderman are your 2009 Redfish Cup champions here in Kima, Texas.